Welcome to Printzilla OSM online tutorial videos. In this video we'll be covering step number six, create categories and add store designs. The categories and store designs that you'll be uploading will only show up on this specific online affiliate store website. If you own multiple affiliate store websites, then you'll have to add the same categories and the same designs if you want them to show up on that website as well. None of these categories or store designs will show up on any other affiliate website underneath the Prinzel OSM software. To begin with, you'll first start off by adding categories. On the left hand side underneath the design categories box, there's a button to click add. In this window you'll have the ability to add a category name. In this case we'll go ahead and type in fire logos. You can put a description down here if you like. You can also use the what you see, what you get editor to take this information and change the font coloring and everything with it. Once you're done with it, go ahead and click the add category button. You'll now notice that fire logo showed up down here at the bottom. If you want to edit that actual one, just select it and click on edit. Then you'll bring it back in and you can choose different things. So if we wanted to change fire logos to fire department logos, you can do that. And we can come back down here and put an exclamation point in at the end of this. Then you can click the update category button. Now you'll notice that it's gone ahead and changed this. At this point in time, we can now upload a design. To upload a design, you're going to want to head and make sure your design is in a rastered format. It can be a PIF, TNG, a bitmap, JPEG design. Once you have it ready, go ahead and click the Add Design button. You're going to scroll down. You want to complete the actual design detail information. So in this case, we can put Generic Fire Department Shield. And in the description, you can put, you know, Fire Department Shield for left chest. Some designs you might want to have smaller or larger depending on how you have. You then can choose what category you'd like the design to go into. You can choose whether you want to go into the new category or fire department logos. We'll choose the fire department logos. You can choose to add this information all show up in the quick launch. Allow the customer uh, to use for decoration which means using it in the online designer. And you can choose whether you want the customer to have the ability to change the colors. That means they can go in and actually change individual colors with inside your design. So you, you, by selecting each one of these, you'll give the, uh, the option. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and have the customer use as decoration. So it can show up in the online portal. Then you can turn around and you can choose what type of background you'd like to display with it. You can choose automatic, always white, or black. The final thing you'll have to do is browse for your actual file. We'll go ahead and choose our PNG logo and then go ahead and hit create. It'll then begin the process of uploading the, the file. You can now see underneath our store design that we have a logo that's been uploaded. You can also tell that underneath the fire department there's one logo listed there as well. Your image has now been successfully uploaded. You can go to your website, refresh it, and you now see that underneath store designs, your fire department logos has showed up. If you click on that and scroll down, you'll see our logo shows up, and then if you put your cursor, it'll pull up. Now this logo can actually be used for the online designer portion of your website as well. Once you've finished, adding in your store designs. Go ahead and scroll down and click on the continue setup wizard to go to the next step. If you have any additional questions, please visit prinzilladtgvideos.com.